Hi there, Mrs. Elke here, and today, instead of one of my own kids, I have my nephew. Can you tell him what your name is? Simeon. Simeon Elke is here visiting. And Simeon, how old are you? Five and a half. Five and a half. Simeon's in kindergarten this year, and he wanted to do an art video. So today, Simeon, can you tell him what we made? A bald eagle. A bald eagle. All right, show him your picture. We made a bald eagle picture, okay? There we have it. And so if you would like to make a bald eagle picture with Simeon and me, please follow along and check out our tutorial, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Can you say bye? Bye. See you next time. All right, to begin our drawing, I'm gonna start kind of with an upside down J, just like that. See if you can make an upside down J too. Looks kind of like a hook. Good. Then I'm going to go in and out like that. Good. And then I'm going to go down like that. It's about the same distance. Good. Now I'm going to make a curved line that goes up and around and down. It's actually kind of another upside down J if you look at it, but it slants a little bit more than the other one. That's right. And you can maybe have it go all the way out to about there. So curve it out that direction. There you go. And I'm going to connect it with this one kind of like that, and then maybe do a couple bumps at the bottom. Good. All right, now I'm gonna start at this point where we came in, and I'm just gonna make a line that goes out and down like that. That's gonna be for the eagle's beak. Good. And then I'm going to connect the bottom to there for the bottom part of the beak. So hook it over. Good. And then I'm going to take the top part of the beak and connect it to the face like that. You got it. All right. I'm going to give them an eye by making a line like that. And it kind of goes up just a little bit and then make a circle down on the, below it like that, hanging down. And if we can squeeze a little eyeball in there, squeeze a little eyeball. Good. All right, now I'm going to do a zigzag line. So I'm going to go up, down, up, down, up, down until I run into the top part of the wing. Good job. Now I'm going to take this part and curve around and down by that back wing until it runs into it. You got it. I'm gonna add two U's for where the legs are gonna go. One, two. I know you're working on your letters at Cool. Are you good at making U's? Yep. You bet. All right, now I'm going to make two lines for where the feet are going to be. They go right next to each other on both of them like that. Good. Now I'm going to make the letter C since you're so good at your letters. I'm going to make a C here and a C here for the front part of the feet. Good, and I'm gonna make another C and another C on both of them so that there's gonna be three C's for the feet. Yep. And these are gonna connect on the bottom so that it looks like they actually have the bottom part of the feet kind of hooked around a tree and then I'm going to kind of curve them together at the top, too, so that they look like they connect. 
So you see how I'm going on the top and then I'm kind of curving around to attach it. And now all those parts are connected on the top and there's just one little C left for the branch. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna connect the legs with a branch. So I'm gonna put a line right here that goes in between them and then it can kind of come out from behind the eagle too. And we'll make it kind of go down like this so that it looks like he's hanging out on a tree branch and not just floating in the air. There you go. You might want to even make it a little bit thicker by adding another line kind of right in there so that he's has a little more branch to stand on. Yep, and you can make it longer. You see how mine goes all the way to the, almost the edge of the paper? Yep, and maybe add so that the branch kind of breaks into two sections. Mm-hmm. Then maybe this part can go up like that and kind of make, there you go. I'll throw one more line in like that. And then if you want to, you can add a couple of leaf shapes too. I might add a couple of leaves so it looks like he's kind of up in a, a tree. Or if you want to just keep it a regular branch, you can do that too. It's up to you. All right, we still need a tail for this eagle. Otherwise, if he flies, he would just fall over. So I'm going to start kind of on the bottom part here. And I'm going to make a tail. This is mine's going to run into my tree and yours will too. But it's going to go kind of back like that. And then under here, and I'll, I'll make a couple of the feathers like that underneath. Yep. And that helps him balance. Good job. Now for the tail, I'm going to add a couple of lines just to show where the feathers are growing. And I'm going to do that on the wings too, except for the wings, my lines are going to be U shapes again too. So we're going to make use that connect kind of like this across the wings. And I'm going to do a couple of layers of them so that it looks like he's got layers of wings. Pretty good. And you're gonna have lots of layers. And then once you're done with the layers, we're gonna go ahead and color. So we can put our marker away and we can move to some of our different colored pencils. So I'm gonna probably start with a brown. You think, see a brown in there too? Yep. Now, Simeon, when we were driving in the car today, did you see the eagle? Yeah. Yeah, what was it doing? It was, was it a boat when we drove past? It flew. It flew, huh? Was that your first time seeing a bald eagle in the wild? Or no, have you seen him before? I've seen one when we were walking. Ah, it was pretty cool though, huh? They were pretty big birds. Do you know what bald eagles like to eat? What? Well, I've seen them eat fish before. They I like know. to catch the fish. Yeah. And we live right by the river, so there's lots of fish there for them to eat, huh? Simeon is visiting us from out of town. He lives in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, which is about three hours away. And so we're so excited to have him here visiting and playing with us, huh? Are you having fun being yeah. here? Yeah, it's a good time. Now for the tail feathers, I'm just gonna do the top part brown, but I'm gonna leave the bottom part white. Like that. Oh. So we're, you're okay, because you still got the white on the bottom. Yeah. And we're gonna keep on coloring. So Simeon and I are gonna keep on coloring, and then we'll show you when we're farther along what it looks like. So we've been adding our finishing touches to our coloring. I've just been adding a little bit of shading to my wings and Simeon just added a nice yellow for his eagle's eye. You can see too the top part of the tail is brown, the bottom is white, and of course the head is white for a bald eagle too. So we hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that your eagles turn out super cool. And please join us again for another one uh, by liking and subscribing so that you'll see when we add new videos. All right, thanks guys.